Responsibility is a big thing for me. So I have a responsibility to do work in the community and give back however I can. That's, that's why I teach art and have always wanted to. And that is why, you know, any underserved community that I can help uh, do work in, I feel absolutely responsible to, to give back and, and help to have people understand that art is important. Um, art is therapy, so. So my art is based in Afrofuturism, it's based in uh, Afro-surrealism. Um, I primarily um, like to paint with acrylic paint on canvas or wood. You know, although classically trained in a lot of different mediums, that's just my go-to now. And uh, I like to use vibrant colors, a lot of color, a lot of different shapes uh, for backgrounds and, and, and mainly subjects, uh, people. Um, different eth ethnicities, but you know, I was talking to someone earlier about uh, my primary subject matter, and organically, uh, the black male, uh, just because that's what I see in the mirror every day. Um, it does not take away from my love of culture and my love of people, and just you know, liking to look at people's faces and the structure of how they're made up, and I love to recreate those things. So that's what most of my work is based in. My creative process would be, you know, searching for subject matter, thinking of a way to convey my thoughts and feelings visually, finding references, whether it be taking photos myself or uh, looking at photos that maybe someone else has taken, changing them like a piece of music. And uh, then I digitally recreate or, or set up my composition. Um, I then either draw directly on canvas or I project it depending on the scale and, and begin to paint at that point. Since I've been doing murals and since I've been kind of doing a lot of different things, uh, I noticed that I like to take the hard road. I tend to go the difficult route. Um, but it's, it's more of a processing thing for me. Like I, I like to see a white canvas. Most people will say it's scary to see a canvas with nothing on it and then you gotta sit here and, and fill it all in. So if you tone the canvas first, it makes it easier for you. Well, life isn't easy. So for me, I like to take the hard road because that's my favorite piece and I did not tone that canvas and it came out great. And <laughs> it's my favorite, so. The piece uh, called Conduit, which is a picture of a marble sculpture of a slave uh, in blue with a background that looks like a fingerprint. It speaks to my journey as an artist. Uh, he's looking to the future and to the light, but he's having a conversation with his past. It really just speaks to who I am as an artist and what I've been through that led me to the point that I'm at. And also looking at my trajectory going forward. There's a piece at the at Hale Hall that's in their uh, permanent collection called Gravity. And it's Mother Earth with her arms around the moon child. And I just, the subject matter for that really stands out. It, it came to me organically. And so um, those two pieces really are my favorite. I, I have a lot of favorites. So it's every piece that I've ever done, I have a connection with. As a, as a high schooler and in art class, I, I learned that, you know, it's, it's good to give back when you have a passion for something. So I learned early that I wanted to be a teacher. I need to give back. I need to do something that's fulfilling. And Franklinton High School, a charter school in an underserved community gave me the opportunity, right? They gave me the privilege to be able to figure that out, to really just go into the class and come up with my own curriculum, teach what I wanted to pertain into art, and it's, it's just been a blessing. No, you don't know how, you don't have to know how to draw. You don't have to know how to paint. I'm going to teach you, 
but also use this time to take your mind off of whatever you might be going through at home because we all have stuff going on at home whatever class that you're taking that's like super difficult um, and just create because there is a release in that there we go The mural on Franklinton High School that I was able to do this past summer, it's based on the community that the school is in. Uh, the subject of the mural is one of the students at the school um, who every time he sees me, he gives me dap and you know, he's so like happy to have been the subject matter. And I was able to do it in tandem with uh, J.M. Hunter, who's one of my uh, colleagues at the school. And so um, it was a real fun time. It was really hot and uh, we got to go up on the lift every day that we, you know, and so just being able to do something that I had, had never had the chance to do before. It, it really isn't much different from what I usually do, even, even on, uh, you know, my larger scale paintings. It's like there's a process, there's, you know, just all of this planning and um, getting to this part is, is the easy thing, but the planning and the, the, you know, getting the composition that you want, that's all the hard part for me. That was my first time using spray paint on the mural, uh, primarily, um, and the largest mural to date that I've done. Uh, just, it, it checked so many boxes for me. Receiving um, the inaugural community artists in residence uh, for urban art space was very special. Uh, per my connection to the Ohio State University as a student, as a, as a young scholar, it, it's always been a dream to do art um, in any place, but especially in, in Cleveland where I'm from and, and in Columbus. And it's been life changing. My days are packed. By 10 o'clock at night, I'm thinking, okay, the kids are asleep, so now I need to go in the basement and paint. Um, and, and primarily, I'm an artist. Primarily, I create visually. So um, I'm always thinking about that. Like, I literally think about it all day long. Uh, when can I paint? Because that is my favorite thing to do. Um, and so I find time for it whenever I can. There's, my free time is painting. <laughs>